Welcome back to Washington Watch. My name is Joseph Backholm. I'm sitting in for Tony today. Yesterday, the Department of Defense revealed and put into effect the latest update to its anti-extremism policy that Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby claimed is about extremist activity, not about ideology. As Secretary Austin has emphasized the department is focused on prohibited activity, not on a particular ideology, thought, or political orientation. The department has always maintained a distinction between thoughts and actions. Now, properly defined, we, of course, do want to see an end to extremist activity. But is the focus on extremism inside the military distracting us from stopping a greater threat at the southern border? Case in point, last week in Arizona, patrol agents apprehended a potential terrorist with ties to Yemeni subjects of interest. And keep in mind that the number of gotaways, which is border crossers seen by agents but not apprehended, has been as high as 1,000 per day. Joining me now to talk about this and more is U.S. Representative Vicki Hartzler, who is a member of the House Armed Services Committee. She represents the 4th Congressional District of Missouri. Congresswoman Hartzler, welcome back to the program. Well, thank you, Joseph. It's good to be here. It's great to see you. What was your reaction yesterday to the new policy guidance from the uh, Department of Defense? Well, I'm still sorting through all of the rules, but I can tell you, I think that this is just an overblown exercise when we should be focusing on real threats elsewhere, as you pointed out. Uh, there have been less than 100 members of the armed services, which we have 2.1 million members of the armed services and reserves who have been let go for extremist activities over the last year. And that comprises 0.0048% of our military. And yet, after January 6th, uh, Secretary Austin ordered a complete stand down of our entire military across the world, brought everybody in off the training fields and had them sit down and look at PowerPoints and discuss their feelings. I, I really feel like this is an overblown attempt to go after perhaps conservatives. Uh, obviously, we don't want genuine terrorists uh, in our military ranks, but I'm going to be watching this very, very closely to make sure they don't use these new rules to go after someone who just has a conservative viewpoints. Well, I appreciate you doing the math for us on that because I did know the number was less than 100 and less than 100 of 2 million is a very small percentage. Now, we played that clip from Secretary John Kirby. He said that the Department of Defense is focused on activity, not thought. But notably, one of their definitions for extremist activities is, quote, advocating widespread unlawful discrimination based on race, color, national origin, religion, sex, gender identity, or sexual orientation. Now, this is familiar language to us in many non-discrimination codes, and we are familiar with the ways private citizens have been targeted in the market for their beliefs based on the exact same language. Do you think this will lead the Pentagon to targeting service members because of what they believe, not necessarily what they do? Well, it's something certainly we need to watch because, as you pointed out, the Biden administration and others have used this language to go after just simply people of faith. And so does that mean that if you're a soldier, sailor, airman, marine, or guardian, and you simply express your views that you believe marriage should be between a man and woman, uh, will you be targeted as an extremist and uh, perhaps you know, asked to leave or, or thrown out of the military uh, or had some disciplinary action. We don't know yet. Uh, they said widespread discrimination against. Well, what does that really entail? Um, I guess we will find out. But, you know, the military has been under uh, so much stress uh, over the last year, not only because of of the what the, happened in Afghanistan and the just the debacle that that was and the blow to our military, but also with these vaccine mandates, that has also been very stressful and difficult for thousands and thousands of our men and women in uniform who, for various reasons, did not feel comfortable doing that. And to date, as far as I know, the Pentagon has not allowed any religious exemptions for any of our military, not one. And I just think that is wrong. And we have good men and women who have served our country for years. Many of them have been deployed multiple times who are being forced out of the military now. 
uh, just simply because they would not be granted. The religious exemption would not still be allowed to serve because they did not feel comfortable uh, taking this vaccine. And so this is just adding one more layer of stress uh, that is unneeded on our men and women in uniform, when at the same time we have Russia on the border of Ukraine, perhaps any day threatening to go in uh, that very key country, that democracy there in uh, Europe, Asian area. Then we have the China flying over Taiwan, threatening perhaps to take over Taiwan. We have Iran pursuing a nuclear weapon. And all the while, uh, it seems like the Biden administration's uh, Pentagon just wants to go after people on their beliefs and, and focus on that. It's just a wrong priority. And to that point, a uh, person of interest, a potential terrorist from Yemen, was just apprehended at the southern border. We know that thousands a day are coming across the border who are not apprehended. Given the Biden administration's position on the border, do they just not see this as a serious national security threat? No, they just seem to ignore what is going down there. They opened up the border wide by stopping to build the border uh, wall. They did away with the Remain in Mexico policy. And then they tell everyone, if you come here, that we're going to give you amnesty, uh, the Build Back Better bill that uh, thankfully was stopped by Joe Manchin, at least for now, uh, would have given amnesty to 8 to 11 million illegal aliens in, in, uh, in our country. And so they are encouraging people to come. They've opened up the border. And then they just seem to not care about the national security threat that is very real, uh, where individuals, as you say, coming across who are known terrorists, uh, uh, we see record amounts of drugs coming across. We have record amounts of overdoses in our communities as a result of the all the drugs that have come across. And then we have human trafficking as well. So, uh, as you know, the president assigned the vice president to be the border czar and to, to go after this root problem, but uh, she is nowhere to be found. Finally, finally went down after weeks and weeks of not even going to the border, and then she didn't even really go to the border, just was in and out, and has done nothing to rectify this problem. So it's very, very concerning. The priorities of this administration aren't about the security and safety of its citizens, they're more about uh, impacting and, and administering the Green New Deal and uh, being friendly to those who are dangerous to our country. Congresswoman Vicki Hartzler, thank you so much for your time and Merry Christmas.